Hey guys, it's Tricky Nick here, and we're continuing our evolution series. We're on our last coupling, and we're looking at Larry Koopa. Before we begin, if you guys do enjoy this video, please like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. Anyways, on to the video. Larry Koopa is the youngest of the Koopalings, a clan of seven siblings. Like Ludwig, Larry has blue hair, albeit a lighter color and in a different style. Many sources initially claimed he was named after American talk show host Larry King. A Nintendo of America employee, Davy Brooks, who originally named the Koopalings, claimed that instead that Larry was named after Larry Marlin Jr. All of the Koopalings therefore would have been named after musicians. However, Brooks contradicted this in a December 2015 interview, stating that Larry was not named after anyone in particular and that he just simply looked like a Larry. In Larry's first appearance, Super Mario Bros. 3, he is the first Koopaling to be battled. He steals the magic wand from the King of Grassland and turns him into a dog or cobra, depending on the version of the game you play. After Mario traverses the airship, he battles Larry in his cabin, who is determined to fight Mario for the wand. In this battle, Larry jumps around and shoots magic blasts from his stolen magic wand. Three stomps will defeat him. This battle is just the basic attack pattern of every Koopaling, so Larry really doesn't stand out. This is due to the fact that Larry has no moves that expand upon the basic ones that every Koopaling receives. Larry's second appearance is the last in Super Mario World in the Valley of Bowser. In battle, he uses Iggy's attack pattern in defeating condition. He sits on top of a tilting platform on top of lava and is immune to all of Mario's attacks. However, unlike Iggy, Larry's platform has three lava bubbles that jump up and down. He can also throw more than one fireball at one time. Larry needs to be jumped on until he falls off his platform. Despite being the final coupling, Larry's battle is pretty easy and not even that original. It is the exact same as Iggy's battle with a few lava bubbles added. Instead of having an epic final fight before Bowser, Larry's battle is way too easy. It's really a shame to see a good chance for a good fight for Larry go to waste. The Koopalings once again return in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Larry is the boss of World 1, which is reminiscent of Super Mario Bros. 3. In his appearance, Larry looks almost the same as before, but his two small fangs are now gone. He has a blue star on his head similar to Morton, and he now has an azure colored shell similar to the color of his hair. Before battling him, he is shocked at Mario's presence, rages about it, and gets ready to fight. In the first battle, Larry fires cyan fireballs at Mario and jumps. After being hit, he retreats into his shell and starts to spin around the area, causing Mario damage if he comes within contact. After three stomps on the head, Larry is defeated, retreating to his castle. This battle is just like the one in Super Mario Bros. 3 with a 3D rendering. Larry is once again only given basic attacks, making the battle really boring. Larry's castle battle is in a room filled with platforms that shift up and down due to Magikoopa's magic. Larry has the same tactics as his last fight. However, his shell dash attack is more difficult to avoid because of the moving room unless he gets stuck between the two of the platforms. After three stomps on Larry's head, he is defeated and falls off screen. This battle is worse than the tower one. Larry is given basic attacks once again, but now he easily gets stuck in between pillars. Larry is a boss once again in New Super Mario Bros. 2. He is fought in World Mushroom's castle. Like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, he throws a tantrum on the fact that Mario has made it through his castle before fighting him once more. His battle features three cyan platforms in the middle of the room, four holes, two on the floor and two on the ceiling, and two stone pillars, which go in and out of the four holes, always one on the top and one on the floor. Using his magic wand, Larry shoots sky cyan fireballs, which ricochet off the walls upon contact. Similar to Wendy's candy rings. Like all of the other Koopalings, Mario has to jump on Larry's head to defeat him. After three stomps, Larry is defeated, leaving the key to World 3. This battle is a small improvement on Larry. Instead of only having his basic attacks, he now has a fireball that can ricochet, creating more of an obstacle in this room full of platforms. Larry reappears in New Super Mario Bros. U alongside the rest of the Koopalings. He is the boss of Sparkling Waters and is battled in Larry's Torpedo Castle. 
His battle strategy is to blast fireballs and use water blasts from the pool below the arena, which act like the pillars from his previous New Super Mario Bros. battles. When Larry is spinning in his shell, the water geysers give him a boost upward, making it a bit more difficult to avoid. After two stomps, Larry starts to cast two fireballs in quick succession. In, in addition, he is only one of three Koopalings to retain the use of a magic wand in this game, the others being Iggy and Ludwig. When the player reaches his airship at the end of Sparkling Water's castle, he emits a mocking laugh. However, when Mario actually boards his airship, Larry will once again get into one of his rages. Three hits to the head will defeat him and make him fall off screen. This battle finally does Larry some justice. Instead of just having a basic room, he finally has a theme. Instead of just having his basic moves to help attack the player, he now has the geysers too. Overall, this is Larry's best fight. Unfortunately, we haven't seen Larry Koopa in a main series game since then. Hopefully they will pr improve upon him in his next appearance. If you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, we're really close to 100 and I'm very excited to hit 100 subscribers. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, I have a few things planned, but I also want to hear what you guys want from me. And I will see you guys in the next one.